that we would explore Crow Park's history from 1916 up to the present day and then use our imagination to build a Crow Park 100 years from now. We chose Crow Park as it represents a huge part of Irish culture and situates 10 minutes away from our school. 21st, 1920, 13 spectators and one temporary footballer, Michael Hogan, died in Coke Park when British troops entered the grounds and opened fire during a challenge match between Tipperary and Dublin. Over 10,000 people attended the match that ill-fated day. 1st of August 1938, the Cusack Stand is officially opened in time for the All-Ireland semi-final between Kerry and Leash. In 1966, the standing area of the Lower Cusack stand was replaced with seating. 1923, a new stand is built along the Jonesweld side of the park and named in memory of Michael Hogan. On June 7, 1959, a new two-tier Hogan stand with seating for 6,000 6, was officially opened to celebrate the 75th anniversary of, of the founding of the GAA. 1959, phase three of Crow Park's redevelopment began when the Hogan stand is demolished. 1996, phase one of, of the Crow Park redevelopment is completed with the opening of a new Cusack stand. Fortieth, nineteen twenty-three, the Liam McCarthy Cup made its first appearance in Crow Park when it was presented to Limerick after defeating Dublin eight five to three two in the the late nineteen twenty-one All Ireland hurling final. On September thirtieth, nineteen twenty-eight, the Sam McGarry Cup made its first appearance in Crow Park when it was. Presented to Kildare after defeating Cavan 2-5 in the All-Ireland Football Final.